In this video, we're gonna talk about Spawn's legacy, the truth behind Rat City's infamy. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Rat City, issue number six, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Rat City, a hallucination causes a deviant to lash out uncontrollably and unknowingly unlocks a new potential with his powers. So before we go forward, because we end issue number five with Peter K. Arns and his suit going crazy on Dr. Ammon, we get this documentary powered by AI and it's not responsible for any inaccuracies by AI researchers. That's just kind of funny how that is. We get a documentary of the history of New York, the Bowery, powered by Grant PharmTech Solutions. So for every problem, there's a PharmTech solution. So this lady gives this narration, this AI looking lady, from farmlands to an elegant passage to Rat City, as it's known today, the Bowery has been many things throughout the centuries. The Bowery is the oldest thoroughfare in Manhattan. It was a trail carved out by lineage of people. Once the Dutch arrived, they renamed it in their own right. And then several prominent Dutch settlers settled in and a whole history unfolded. So we get a little history there. Going back like chiropractic. As the turn of the century, the Bowery was a boom town. Manhattan's elite had homes and businesses there in the 1800s. Even John Jacob Astor, one of the richest men alive in the time, invested in the area, being a co-founder of the Bowery Theater. But then the immigrants came flooding in and the elites like Astor fled uptown for better air. They didn't want to be around them folks. Don't be putting your bull drive up in my stuff. So it was tough living in those rooming flats. People slept on the floors, people slept on the streets. And then by the late 1890s, the Bowery was known for their brothel and their sex shops. But, but the 20th century brought with it new innovations, but it also brought new problems. The Great Depression of the 1929 hit hard and Bowery didn't seem to bounce back. Veterans of the first two world wars found themselves living hard on the streets. TV shows portrayed prosperous households and idyllic lives, but the Bowery got its official title of New York Skid Row. That's what it was, New York Skid Row. So many hotels lined the Bowery, giving refuge to the Bowery bums who lived there. They were mostly alcoholics just looking for a place to sleep on the floor, but even though it wasn't a five-star hotel accommodation, it was better than being taken alive by the cops. We get these testimonials of, who, of people living in the Bowery based on this AI document documentary, like it's a wonderful place. No, it's misery, misery loves company. It's cheap, it's nice. Hey, the drinks are free. This place stinks. Where the women at? I don't know, but hey, <laughs> no one said that, but we're just getting a preview of what people are saying about the Bowery. So now this AI lady standing at a urinal that is definitely appealing if I got to do a number one. And she says, as with many of the worst places, the human spirit breeds creativity. Ugh, this place stinks like piss. Of course it does. Look where you at. So now you go into BCBG Club that opened in the mid 1970s. We can only imagine what this OMGFU stands for. And this BCBG Club in the Bowery, it kickstarted loads of musical careers that was known as the cradle of American punk rock. Despite that, the club was shuttered in 2006 to become a high end clothing boutique. This isn't the only legend the Bowery is known for. Now let's get into some real juice right here. This one, now we cook it with grease. You talk about our boy Spawn right now. So in the 1990s, there was the urban legend of the king of Rat City. Allegedly, he was some kind of supernatural being who protected the down on their luck residents of Rat City. Yeah, that's right. Talk about our boy right there. And that's our boy going to work on Overkill. So amateur sleuths would try and capture footage of this king fighting otherworldly foes, but most of their evidence was debunked. So we get Booty and Bobby, residents of Rat City, who know of Al, but Booty is like, yeah, sure, the cops house us, but we're okay. We got a secret weapon. We got a king. And this guy, Bobby, is like, okay, Boots, be quiet. What's the matter, Bobby? Don't listen to Boots. He don't know what he's talking about. So in secret, or at least he thought it was in secret, he was like, what you doing saying all that? We got to keep quiet around here. I'm sorry, but Al's a hero. Don't you think you should get some good press about this? And the reporter's like, uh, gentlemen, your mics are still on. Well, that's their oh crap moment right there. So now we go into today. Today, Rat City is the home to most of New York City population. And we see this guy watching it on his TV, drinking an adult beverage, as we can only imagine. And he hears a noise, some racket next door. And even though that guy's drinking something, I gotta drink some coffee after this because this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest 
compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel but we'll get back into the content so he hears something puts his ear to the wall gets blasted bro i was like oh hell to the naw makes a phone call so call security services what's your emergency and this guy tells him, look a blast came through my wall remain calm what's your location i'm at 81 bowery rat city pal it's gonna be a while nah you better come now there's some crazy stuff going here and they're like look we ain't got no urgency man you're at the bowery bro just hang tight someone will be there eventually so peter k arn's suit pierces through the wall this guy is like forget this i'm out of here and we pick up exactly where we left off in issue number five quinn is like peter please we got to get out of here but Peter can't control his suit right now, so his suit does some damage to Quinlan right now, and Quinlan bleeds, razor sharp. So what did Peter see in that cocoon? Well, you know, the suit's worst enemy, the violator. What was he feeling? He attacked Quinlan like Quinlan was like his enemy, like he wanted to kill him. So even the violator of hallucinations, like, please, shut up, please, Peter. And then when Peter calms down from his rage or the initial shock or kind of regains control of himself, he sees what's happening and he doesn't like what he sees. So Iman, who was there trying to get answers about the suit on behalf of his boss, Dr. Bose, he's like, man, he's still breathing, but we have to help him. And Quinlan's like, no, we have to go. But Peter's like, but he's hurt. And Quinlan is like, so am I. But the security forces are already here and they're coming. So we got to get out of here. And Peter's like, okay, let's go. So Peter does is uses the suit's necroplasm instinctively i don't know if he just learns how to use a suit like that but he learned as he grows just like spawned it in the spawn series as time went on he learned how to better use his suit so peter hears quinlan with the necroplasm to stop the bleeding and quinlan is naturally asking is this even safe it'll have to do for now you said we have to go so let's go so the forces come in they see dr ammon they realize he's got a pulse they got to get him out of here because even though he's lost a lot of blood don't worry, we'll get you somewhere safe. And that somewhere safe is with Dr. Bose, and he gets stable. So Dr. Ammon wakes up like, nah, where am I? Hello, Ammon, says Dr. Bose. We have so much to discuss. I don't know if he's gonna torture for answers, but I see his heart being digitally removed. It's just crazy how this issue has ended. I don't know if Dr. Bose is gonna make his own little suit to combat the Spawn suit in 2099 or something like that. But anyways, that is the end of issue number six of Rat City. What you guys think of the comic book, comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. With all that being said, thank you again for watching. Until next time.